Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to go over how to set up your Pro A7 Plus system with the HomeKit application on your iPhone. Uh, so a few things that you want to do is you want to make sure that the panel is fully up to date. Uh, if you are set up with an alarm company, they can push that for you uh, through the AlarmNet server and get that updated to the panel. And then once that is fully updated, you can check that you have the HomeKit setting in the panel and then get that paired to the application. So we're going to check that. We're going to enable HomeKit in the panel. And then we're going to go through the process of pairing that with the actual application. Okay, uh, so now we're going to show how to enable the HomeKit option on the Pro A7 Plus system. Uh, we'll make sure that that is enabled and ready for us to pair through the application. And then we will get that paired through that application as well. So first thing we want to do is go to the menu icon. We're going to scroll until we get to tools. Uh, we're going to enter in the installer code for this. Ours is still set as the default of 4112. We're going to go to programming. Okay, we're going to press advanced settings here at the bottom. We're going to press on system. And we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of this until we see Enable HomeKit. Ours is already enabled, uh, but if it's disabled, it's going to look like that. You want to press this for it to be blue, and then we're going to save. Okay, uh, so now we're going to reset the HomeKit option on here, which is always a good step just to make sure there's nothing that's going to stop the pairing process. Uh, so for this, let's just back all the way out. We're going to go back into the menu. We're going to scroll. This time we're going to go to settings. We see the Apple HomeKit option right there. Again, we're going to enter in our installer code, 4112. And then we see the reset HomeKit option. Okay, so this is basically just going to reset the feature in the panel to allow the connection to go through without any issues. Okay, that is all set here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to start the pairing process. So on the home kit, Uh, you'll see the add accessory option there. It's going to pull up our camera to find the QR code. And to get the QR code back at the panel, we're going to go to the menu icon. We're going back to settings, back into Apple HomeKit. Again, enter the installer code 4112. And then first option we see here is pair controller to HomeKit. That's going to give us our QR code, which we're going to scan. Perfect. Picked it up right away. We're going to do add to Apple Home. And then we have some settings here. So you can select the security location. Uh, we'll just set this as living room. You can enter a custom name for the system. We're just going to keep this as Pro Series. And then security system add to my home, continue. It's going to show the sensors that we have connected. And we can label these as well. Again, we'll just put living room. It's going to show another sensor. So each sensor that you have programmed in here, it's going to pull in. And then you can customize it. So front door. You can name it. Okay, our sensors are added. Okay, so we have it paired. Now let's just test it. So we're going to use HomeKit to try to arm the system. So we're going to want the system back on the home screen for this. I'm going to try to arm home. Armed home. Perfect. We got the confirmation from the panel. We don't have to wait for that to fully arm. So we're going to disarm by pressing off. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Okay, excellent. Uh, so we have them paired. We tested the functionality through HomeKit. We're enabled to interact with the system through there. Pairing process went smoothly. And that's all there is to that. Okay, uh, so when we were getting the sensors programmed through HomeKit, 
Uh, one thing I do want to make note of is that life safety sensors will not be recognized by HomeKit. Uh, so that's going to mainly include smoke detectors, heat detectors, carbon sensors. Uh, the sensors that are really going to pull in are door contacts, uh, motion sensors, uh, glass breaks, anything like that that's not going to be uh, a life safety sensor. So those will pull in, but just keep note that smoke detectors, carbon sensors, and heat detectors are not recognized by HomeKit. So if you don't see those pulling in, that's just by design. It's not a, a, a defect with the pairing process. They're just not gonna pull in in general. Okay, so that is how you set up HomeKit on the Pro A7 Plus system. As you saw, it's a fairly simple process. Uh, we checked a few things in the programming menus to make sure HomeKit was enabled, and then we got it paired through the application itself. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about any future videos we release. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 888-818-7728. Uh, we have an email. Our email address is support at alarmgrid.com. And then also if you check out our website, www.alarmgrid.com, uh, we have a live chat option on there as well. So either way, feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to assist you. Again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid, and thank you for watching.